Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's video. Hope everyone's doing well and keeping safe. Now today's going to be all about juggling. So this is going to be a juggling masterclass of all the different techniques that I've learned and practiced during my career so far. Are you listening? Damn. Now juggling is one of the first things that you learn when you start to play football. I think it's a great way to gauge how comfortable a player is with the ball and most of the time if you're not a very good juggler it's from a lack of practice or your first touch isn't very good. Now I'm about to show you a number of different techniques that you can go and try yourselves. The difficulty varies depending on the technique so don't be frustrated if you can't do everything right now. Just keep practicing and I guarantee once you master all the different techniques you've seen today you'll feel a whole lot more comfortable with the ball and your first touch will have definitely improved. Let's get started. First up we have regular juggling. So here we're going to be alternating between the right and left foot using the laces of our feet. Key points here are to keep your ankles locked, uh, keep your toes pointed slightly down, you want to make contact using the laces of your feet and the idea is to try and minimise the spin on the ball as much as you can. Next up, we're going to be doing the same thing, but this time only using the right foot. Here, you'll notice that I'm adding in a hop with my standing leg, just to help me keep a consistent rhythm whilst juggling on one foot. Now, onto the left foot. You'll start to notice a pattern here that everything we practice on our right side is also going to be practiced on the left side. So. It's really important to always practice using both feet. Next up we have the same technique but this time we're going to be kicking the ball above head height, alternating between the right and left foot. Key points here are the same as before, ankles locked, toes pointed down, using your laces and minimising the spin. So any flaw in your technique here and the ball's not going to pop straight up, it'll probably go sideways. Now we're going to be moving on to below knee height juggling. So with this technique, we're going to be keeping the ball below knee height using the toes of our feet. The key here is complete control. So using the toes of your feet, you're going to alternate between your right and left foot, juggling the ball whilst keeping it below knee height. Next up is the same technique using only the right foot. This is probably the fastest way to juggle a football, so the key here is to make sure your standing foot's nice and stable and that you're nice and balanced. Now onto the left foot. Whether you're left or right footed, make sure you make an effort from this day to practice both your left and right foot an equal amount of time, especially when juggling. This time we're going to be using the same technique of below knee height juggling, but we're going to be adding in a hop starting off with the right and left foot. Once you're comfortable with below knee height juggling, try it with the hop now. As you can see, I can speed it up, slow it down, really control the tempo, and it's a lot more difficult. Now, using the right foot. Here, as you can see, one touch equals one hop on your standing leg. So, for every touch you take with your right foot, you're gonna be hopping on your left. Now, with the left foot. If you do this for a long period of time, your calves are going to get sore, but the more you practice, the easier it's going to become. Next up, we're going to be using the knee-thigh area, starting off by alternating between the right and left side. Here, you want to make sure you're kicking the ball diagonally upwards, so if you kick it straight up, it's going to be difficult to continue alternating between your right and left. Now, using the right side only. Here it's the exact opposite, where you want to kick the ball straight up to be able to keep a consistent rhythm and continuously keep the ball up. Onto the left side. Now we're going to be using our head. Key here is to stay nice and balanced, so you always want to stay under the ball and adjust as necessary. So whether that be you move forwards a little bit sideways, the key is to just stay under the ball. Moving on, now we're going to be using the inside of our foot. 
So this is the area that most players use to pass the ball. Starting off with, we're going to be alternating with the right and left foot. Make sure that you're nice and warmed up, especially in the hips and the glutes before doing this. Now we're only using the right side. Onto the left side. Next up, we're going to be using the outside of our feet, starting off with the right foot. Same with this, you need to make sure that you're nice and warmed up, especially around your hips, as it requires good hip mobility to be able to do this repetitively. Onto the left side. And for those of you who haven't practiced this technique before, give yourself time, stay patient, and I guarantee you'll find success. Once you feel comfortable enough using your left and right foot individually, you can start alternating between your right and left foot, taking one touch at a time. The next progression from there will be to take two touches per side and alternate with your right and left foot. Now, for those of you who are struggling with above head height juggling, I recommend you guys start off by kicking the ball up above head height every three juggles. The key here is once you kick the ball above head height, you need to make sure that the next touch is a good one so that you regain control of the ball. So you're going to be doing that every three touches, kicking the ball above head height, then regaining control of it and repeating. Now, the same goes with the inside and outside of the foot juggling. For those of you who haven't done it before, it will be challenging to get it straight away. I recommend by starting to practice one or two juggles at a time. Same with the outside. Once you get the hang of that, you can progress to two in a row, three in a row, and so on. Now finally, once you've mastered all those different techniques, you can go out and create your own combinations. So starting off with, we have the pyramid. So you're gonna be going from your right foot to your right knee, to your head, back down to your left knee, to your left foot, and vice versa. So next up is a combination that's going to involve using your laces inside and outside of the foot, rotating the ball from your right side to left side. So the sequence here is you're going to go from the laces of your right foot to the inside of your right foot, back to your laces, then to the outside of your right foot before switching over to the left side and completing the same sequence and just repeating this. Now this one's a nice and simple one involving using the thighs and your feet. So you're going to alternate from your right foot to your right thigh, back down to your left foot and left thigh. You can also reverse it, so you can go from your right foot to your left thigh. So opposite foot, opposite thigh. These sequences are pretty straightforward and simple, but they're a good way to get your brain to think and your feet to execute. Here we're gonna be using below knee height juggling to travel around the cones in a figure eight. So here is just travelling in a figure eight using the standard variation of the below knee height juggling.
Following this is the exact same pattern going around in a figure eight, but this time we're hopping as we juggle the ball. So this is the progression once you get the hang of doing it without the hop. Next up, I'm just using my right foot hopping whilst keeping the ball below knee height. Then switching over to my left foot and doing the same figure eight pattern. Be sure to switch up the direction in which you go around the figure eight using both your right and left foot. So that's a wrap for today's juggling. I've shown you a number of different techniques you can use to juggle the ball. So yeah, give it a go. Let me know how you guys go down the comments below. And remember, practice makes perfect. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.